So this is pretty much where we got to at the end of the last video. We got the manifold all tacked up and we got it test fitted, made sure that it all fits as is. So before I can do the next step, which will be doing all of these welds fully, I'm going to have to break this all apart into its separate pipes. There's always one that wants to be stubborn. Oh, I'm going to have to put this one in the vise and whack it, I think. There you go. It put up a fight, but I won. So now I've got each of these pipes broken down. I'm going to cap the ends off. I'm going to use my new setup here with the twin regulators to run some purge gas through the inside and then I'm going to start tacking these up. So you can see some of these where it's got a little bit open here. If I put extra tacks here I'm going to be able to use those tacks to pull the pipe back closed again because I want there to be as little gap here as possible before I do any of the welding. Right so I've just got a decent amount of flow going through there just to purge it out and then I'll crank it down So just a little trickle of gas just to keep some pressure in there. So I'm on to collectors now, and I'll just show you something that took me a hot minute to figure out, but I think I've got a pretty good method for it now. Where these pipes join here, the collector doesn't fit tight into this gap where the collector's pressed together. So you can see it's got the pressings in the side there so that it fits around the pipe. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see daylight down there. So that gap is something we need to deal with. Now it's gonna be hard to just fill that with weld probably do it with a MIG welder but it's going to be difficult when I'm TIG welding these. What I've done is to take a small section of pipe, dented it in so that it's the same shape as the inside of the collector and then just welded that on. So that's filled it from this side and then I just fill this little section here from this side, dead easy to get at. So there's one that's completed on this side and I've just tidied it up, a little bit of action with the die grinder. 
So you can see that's completely filled now. So once I've got the collector on, you should be able to see there. It's going to be nice and easy to weld just those two pieces together. So these are all fully welded now. I put a little bit of bronze on the back just to give them a little bit of support. So now I'm just going to hit them all with a sanding disc just to take off any high points and then I'll use uh, the gasket to mark them out and then I'll die grind them. So I've attached my shock back to a V-bag so I should be able to stick that straight on the end of there, clamp it up use that to suck out all of this wharf whilst I'm grinding out the ports. So now the head is finished, I decided to set up a test to see how well they actually work. So the idea is, is as an exhaust pulse goes through one of these, the collector here should create a suction effect on the other three. So if this works right, when I blow my airline up one of these, I should get suction on the other three. 
if there's something wrong and I've got reversion going on in here, then it'll be blowing air back out of one of these. That's like worst case or sort of the in-between. If I blow air down one of these, there'll be no suction at one of these. So that just means that it's not creating any scavenging effects. Mm, the head is a bit crap, but let's give it a try. It's pretty good to me. So that's another little fabrication project knocked out and I'm pretty happy with how it went. I'm sure the next set of headers I make will be even better as I learnt a lot along the way with these ones. The Magnum here is going to be going into storage next and then I'll be able to bring the Forenza shell in and start working on that. But that's all I've got time for in this video so if you enjoyed it leave me a like, if you didn't comment and tell me how I'm ruining a really rare car and if you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! Na 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 na